Hey guys, this is Jen from Head to Toe and today I wanted to share with you a makeup tutorial that I'm pretty excited about just because the color of the year according to Pantone is Tangerine Tango and if you followed me for a while you'll know that I've been a little bit obsessed with the color orange for like the last year so I'm really really excited that it's going to be very very big this year and so I wanted to do a makeup tutorial inspired by that color so this is it I have sort of orangey neutral eyes Eyes, nice orange lips from my favorite Revlon lip butter bronzed cheeks it's very youthful like glowy kind of natural look and I also did a separate hair tutorial for my everyday curls so if you'd like to see that I will link it right here but if you'd like to see the makeup tutorial for this look then keep watching and I'll show you how it's done to start off this look, I've already applied Makeup Forever HD foundation in shade 140 all over my face, and I set that with my Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. The first step I'm going to do for the eyes is, of course, to put on some eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. So now I'm just going to take my Sleek palette. I'm using this pinky color right here, and this is the Sunset palette. I'm just using my E55 brush. I'm going to pat this on top of my eyelids just on the main oval area of each eyelid. Next, using the other side of that same brush, I'm going in with this orange shade. And on the outer half of each eyelid, I'm starting with the outer corner and I'm just going to blend this inward. I'm taking this fluffy brush and I'm just blending out the edges, I'm blending it in in the middle. You just want a really soft, smooth gradient. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Sunbaked Neutrals and using that same brush with the orange side, I'm taking a bit of this matte brown color. Since this orange color is so bright, we're going to make it a little bit more neutral using this brown and add a little bit of depth. I'm going to place this down and then pull it into this top area and that's going to increase the depth in your eye socket. Depending on how intense you want this look to be, you can add a darker color to the outer corners, but you can also just keep it at this level of intensity for daytime. I'm going to go in with a darker shade. I'm taking my E30 Sigma brush, this is just a little pencil brush, into this super dark brown right here. And I'm just going to make a little wing using this color and just pulling it in. And then I'm just going to blend this into the eyeshadow that I put before. Taking that same pencil brush, I'm going to go into this burgundy shade, and I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line. Now taking my L'Oreal Infallible Shadow and Iced Latte, I'm just taking this really small brush. This is the Makeup Show 5E05 brush. I'm just applying this shade to my inner corners. I'm just pulling the color into the shadow, and I'm also going to apply that just underneath my eyes right here as well. I feel like that really brightens up the eyes. That's really good for spring. Now for eyeliner, I'm just using this Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. Tilting my head back so that my lids are a little bit flatter. I'm going to start on the inner corners. Using little strokes, I'm just pulling it across the whole eyelid. And here at the outer eye corner, I'm going to go in the same angle as my lower lash line toward my eyebrows. Just going to pull, pull that wing up a little. If you have a larger crease than I do, of course you can draw your wing a lot thinner. Since I have mono lids and my lids get tucked underneath, I like doing it about this wide. And it's thicker at the outer corners and it gets gradually thinner as it goes in. Now I'm taking my NYX Slide On Pencil in Brown Perfection. And I'm going to apply this starting at the outer corners of my lower lash line. I want to sort of connect this brown with the black wing I had earlier. I'm just going to pull that in, only maybe a quarter of the way in. I really want to just focus this on the outer corner. I'm taking a little smudger brush and this darkest brown shade again. This is the E20 brush. I'm just going to smudge that line and I'm using the powder to sort of set that eyeliner. 
Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add my favorite Cannonball Mascara. My upper and lower lashes. Since this is a particularly bright eyed look, I'm actually going to apply more to the inner half of my lower lashes. I find that that really kind of opens up the eye a lot. As always, this is very much optional, but I'm going to put on my favorite false lashes. These are actually two pairs of false lashes that I've layered on top of one another so they give a kind of full fluttery effect. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using the Urban Decay Urban Brow in Brunette. For the rest of the face, I'm going to use a bronzer. This is Stila's Bronzing Powder in shade 01. Just going to take this Makeup Show 22B01 brush, and I'm going to apply this to the bottom of my cheeks. I'm also going to bring this down to the sides of my face and also up here by my temples. It's just going to give a bit of a sun-kissed glow. Next I'm going to take a peachy toned blush. This is Max Ripe Peach. You don't have to use this exact blush but any sort of orangey or peachy toned blush would work really well. I'm just using my F40 Sigma brush. It's just an angled contour brush. You can use any other blush brush like this. And I'm going to actually apply this to the tops of the cheeks right here. So layering the blush and the bronzer like this is going to give you that sun-kissed glow. To give another layer of that nice summery glow, I'm going to take this NYX Mosaic Powder and Highlighter. I'm just taking the yellow and white shades at the top here. And I'm going to apply this right to the tops of the cheeks in a C motion. And that's going to give you that nice youthful glow right to the tops of the cheeks. Now to finalize the face, I'm going to add this nice bright orange lip color. This is Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Frutti. So this is the final makeup look. I'm going to go and do my hair. If you would like to see the tutorial for that, then I'm going to add an annotation right here so you can click and go see that but I will be right back. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And once again, if you're interested in the hair tutorial, I'll leave a link of that in the bottom bar down below. Um, I'll have more pictures and information as always on my blog. That'll be at from head to toe.com. And if you would like to contact me for any reason, you can ask me stuff on Twitter or leave a question on my Facebook. That'll be at twitter.com slash from head to toe and facebook.com slash from head to toe as well. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!